tonight. Boy, looks in. Tristan Hunter, the pitcher, bats from the right side. He looks at a fastball, just a touch inside. One ball, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. Here. Hoy fires. Just, oh, he catches the outside corner. He gets a call. Pitcher's call right there. That was a little bit off the plate. One ball, one strike here in Ozark. One out. Panthers went three up, three down. Hunter's at the d dish. He swings at a good Hoy fastball for strike two. One ball and two strikes with one out. Runner on first. Had an infield single. Keeling made a great play in the hole at short, but couldn't get it, couldn't find the arm strength. There's a curveball that stays up. Hoyt fires to second. They're going to get him. And that's out number two as Hammer and Hoyt guns out the base runner trying to steal. Perfect shot right down there. Now, with one ball, two strikes, Hoy's up in the count. He looks in, gets the sign. He winds, he deals, good fastball, hit right to that, Keeling it short. He grabs it, fires to first, and that's going to do it. Here in the first inning with the score, 0-0, zero, zero, we'll be back with the top of the second with the Panthers coming to hit on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Baseball in the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Shout out to Mateo's. Man, if you haven't eaten there, you need to go. Hand toss pizza. Uh, they've, got, they've got everything. Rocky likes the calzones. Great salad bar. Good wings. I haven't had anything bad there, but go, in, go to Mateo's on the square. Old Matt's a big Panther booster. Has boys that play sports at Mountain Grove. And there's a ball high. Plus, he's a great guy. You won't meet a better human, in my opinion. One ball, no strikes. Hunter comes set, fires. Hoyt slams one to second. The second baseman's been busy. He fires to first, and that's... Out number one here in the top of the second for the Panthers. Not catching up with Hunter's fastball. That brings up Allen. 
Carson, the first baseman, the deep Carson hitting in the five hole. Lenton on deck. Got a couple new faces and new places out in the Panther lineup today. There's a swing and a miss. No balls, one strike. And that ball had some heat on it. He winds and deals. Check swing by Carson, fouls it off, and he's down early in the count. No balls and two strikes. You got to get ready to hit against this kid when you get up there. He's got a little velo. You got to load quick. He winds, fires, swing and a miss. Strike three. That's his second strikeout of the day. That's going to bring up Gabe Linton. Gabe, a good fastball hitter. With two outs. And so far, Hunter's set down all the Panthers in order. You got Hoy on deck. Hunter winds. He fires right downtown Central. No balls and one strike. No balls, one strike. He winds, he deals. There's a swing and a miss. Strike two. Gabe is down in the count. No balls and two strikes. No score in this one yet. Top of the second inning. Forsyth has one hit, no runs. And there's a ball. He catches the outside corner for strike three. Gabe didn't like that call. And that'll do it for the Panthers. Three up, three down. We'll be back with more Panther baseball on the home of Panther baseball, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Baseball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Braxton Gross, Aiden Clevenger, and Jared Walls will be the three hitters up for the Forsyth Panthers. Hoy goes in for a second inning of work. The defense for the Panthers looks like, yes, you've got Matthews behind the plate, Rick Caden Richardson at third, Gatlin Keeling at short, Brylan Mayberry at second, Carson Allen at first, and there's the pitch. Catches the outside corner for a strike. You've got Harker, Trace Harker in right, and and Caden Murphy in left. And there's one drilled down the third baseline, goes out of play. And the count goes no balls and two strikes. Of course, the old reliable Gabe Linton in center. And Braden Hoy on the bump. No balls, two strikes. He winds, he deals. There's a good pitch right there. Hoyt had set up outside, painted. It looked like it painted the corner. One ball and two strikes. Tried to get him to chase. Nobody out here in the bottom of the second. There's popped up. Shallow. Keeling calls for it. He makes the grab. And looks like that one down here in the bottom of the second inning. Not much firepower as far as offense so far. Both pitchers doing a good job. Aiden Clavina, he's the first baseman. He digs in. Hoy gets the sign. He fires. 
Ball gets away from Hort Matthews. Goes back to the backstop. One ball, no strikes. Beautiful day for baseball up here in Ozark. Ozark Mountain Sports Complex. And there's a pitch there inside, almost hits him. And for the first time all day, Hoy goes behind in the count. Two balls and no strikes. He looks in, gets the sign from Hammer and Hoyt. He whines. He deals. Three balls, no strikes on the first baseman from Forsyth. One out here. Hoy whines. He deals. There's one right down the middle of the plate for strike one. He was taken all the way, it looks like. Three balls, one strike, one out. No free passes, Braden. There's one just a touch low, and we have the first walk of the game. Aiden Clevenger. That brings up the DH, Jared, Jared Wall, the DH. He's a big guy. Runner on first. That's the second Forsyth base runner. As they have the only hit in the game, Hoy fires over to first, and he's back easily. Hoy looks in to Hoyt, gets the sign. Batter digs in from the right-handed box. He fires. There's a ball fouled way back up here. No balls in one strike. One out. Runner on first. If you can't be here, you can sure tune in to YouTube. Mountain Grove Panther Sports. We're streaming it live there. No balls in one strike. One out. Hoy comes set. He checks the runner over at first. He fires it home, and it's high and outside. That evens the count. One ball, one strike. Forsyth coach is giving signals. See how these young guys do on the corners in the outfield. And there's a ball that gets away from Hoy and stays upstairs. Two balls, one strike. Boy, pitching out of the stretch. He winds, he deals. There's a ground ball foul over the third base coach. That evens the count. Evens the count at two balls, two strikes. I messed up on the schedule today. I thought it was Mount Vernon. It's four size. Hoy winds and deals. That's a touch low, and the count goes full. Three balls and two strikes here with a runner on first and one out. Play Mount Vernon on the 20th. He winds, he deals. There's another foul ball down the third baseline. Skips all the way out in the outfield. Harker runs it down. Throws it back in. Three balls, two strikes here. Count doesn't change. As he winds and deals, there's a check swing. It goes foul. Count remains full. Count remains full. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Hoy on the bump for the Panthers today. He had a rough outing at Marion C. early, and he walks his second man. And now Forsyth has runners on first and second. Wind's blowing pretty good to left field from right to left. That brings up the center fielder, Nolan, Bryce Nolan, with runners on first and second. Panthers, no score in this one yet. Forsyth with the only hit, but two walks back to back. There's a swing and a foul ball. Swing and a foul ball. 
No balls and one strike with two runners on. Just one out. Hoy in a bit of a jam trying to get out of it. He comes set, checks the runner at second. Then he wings her home. Low and outside in the dirt. Good block by Hoyt. Good block by Hoyt there. That evens the count. One ball, one strike. Hoyt comes set, checks the runner, fires home. There's a strike. And he goes up in the count. One ball and two strikes. With one out, strike out here would be big. There's a pitch lined through the four hole out into right field. Murphy has it. He fires home. There's not going to be a play, but they fired a second, and they've got him. And they're going to tag him and hold the runner at third. A good play there by Keeling as he ran him back towards first, tossed it at the last minute to Carson. And we held the runner at third base. But a runner has scored. And Forsyth takes the early lead, one to nothing. Good piece of hitting there. As he just didn't try to do too much, just to hit a line shot I threw the four hole out and into right. Now with two outs, Hoy goes to work. That's a ball low. Pitch into the shortstop, Thomas Strahan. Hoy winds, deals. There's a pitch just a touch outside, and the count goes to two balls, no strikes. Runner still on third, but two outs. Panthers. Looking to not give up anymore. There's a good pitch. Hit right back up the middle and through, and that's going to bring home another run. And that was hit right on the nose by Strahan. Brings it. Excuse me, that was Maloney that just hit that. Nick Guy is up now. The number nine hitter in the lineup. Two runs in for Forsyth Panthers. Two outs for the Panthers with a runner on first. Boy, come set, fires, swing and a miss, good pitch, tied him up on the inside corner. No balls, one strike. Beautiful day for baseball, let me tell you. There's one low, good block by Hoyt. Doesn't let the runner advance. He's already thrown one out today. But it evens the count. One ball and one strike with two outs. There's a pitch fouled off. Moves the count to one ball, two strikes. Braden's a pretty fast worker. He looks into Hoyt, gets the sign. He comes set. One ball, two strikes. There's a ball he took something off of, popped it straight up. Hoyt has a play on it. <laughs> and it falls. Back by the netting. Let's hope that doesn't come back and haunt us. One ball and two strikes. Two outs. Forsyth's already plated two here in the bottom of the second. There's a ball high trying to get him to chase. That evens the count at two balls, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Here's a pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's going to do it for Forsyth Panthers here in the bottom of the second, but not until they get two runs on two hits and strand one. We'll be back with more Panther baseball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99.
Welcome back to Panther Baseball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. We get ready to move to the top of the third inning. Do up, it's Harker and then Murphy. And then back to the top of the lineup and Gatlin Keeling. Gatlin had a good day yesterday. <laughs> Two doubles. made the last out. Levin Hoy, excuse me. It's Hoy, Murphy, and then Harker. Hoy digs in. Two to nothing's your score here. There's a fastball for a strike. And Hunter has good velo. He has good stuff. Throws the ball pretty hard. I don't know if we've seen anybody throw it this hard yet this year. He winds and deals. That one's high and tight. Evens the count. One ball, one strike. Hunter's a fast worker, too. He knows what he wants to do. You better be ready to go. There's a swing and a miss. Strike two. Three strikeouts on the day for Hunter. We're just in the third inning. Hunter looks in, gets his sign. He winds and he deals. There's strike three as he catches Hoy looking. And that's going to bring up Murphy and then Harker. Murphy in right field today. Harker in left. A little bit windy, but a warm, beautiful day for baseball here at Nozark, Missouri. Hunter winds. He deals. Swing and a miss. Old Murphy was being aggressive. He went after it. No balls. One strike on Caden. First varsity start for Caden. He looks at a ball high and outside. Two to nothing's your score. Two runs on three hits for Forsyth. No runs on no hits for the Panthers. Hunter with a 1-1 one, one count. He looks into Murphy. Murphy hits a little nubber right back to the pitcher. He runs over to first base and underhands it. And that's going to do it. That's out number two. And that brings up Harker with Keeling on deck. Here in the top of the third inning, Panthers down two to nothing. Harker, seen a little action. dh -ing. swing and a miss. As the catcher can't hang on to that one. No balls, one strike. No balls, one strike. He winds, he deals. Right down the center of the plate, strike two. No balls, two strikes, two outs. And Hunter's dealing right now. Panthers are going to have to find a will and a way. Got to load early. No balls, two strikes. And there's a swing and a miss, and that's going to do it for the Panthers as they go three up, three down. As Hunter has faced the minimum, we'll be back with the bottom of the third inning on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99.
Welcome back to Panther Baseball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Now Forsyth back to the top of their lineup as Campbell steps in the second baseman. Boy, he warns, fires. It's a bunt. Bunt and foul. As Richardson was playing way back, he was going to try to get a bunt hit. No balls, one strike, with nobody out here in the bottom of the third. Okay, I believe the leadoff hitter, and Hoy winds and deals. Curveball just stays a touch inside. Evens the count at one ball, one strike. Good take by Campbell. Hoy wheels, he deals. There's a ground ball hit to Keeling at short. He's up with it. Fires across the diamond. It gets away from Allen. Campbell never stops. He's into second base. And a E3 on that one. First error of the night for the Mountain Grove Panthers. That brings up Boyer. Boyer with the first hit of the game. Then was thrown out stealing by Hammer and Hoyt. Hoyt checks on the runner at second. He fires in there just a touch outside. One ball, no strikes. Panthers down 2 nothing here, trying to keep it that way. And there's a ground ball to Keeling, high bouncer. He's up with it, fires, and he gets that one as he makes a beautiful throw. And there's one down, but the runner advances 90 feet to third base. That brings up Tristan Hunter, the pitcher. Digs in from the right side. Hoy comes set, checks that runner at third. Curveball stays up in the zone for ball one. One ball, no strikes. Braden looks in, gets a sign from Hammer and Hoyt. He winds, he deals. That's a ball in the dirt. Hoyt can't find it. He finally does. The count moves to two balls, no strikes. Got a good defense behind you. Walks got him in trouble last inning. Braden. There's a ground ball. It gets through the four hole. That's going to bring home the third run for Forsyth as Tristan Hunter bashes a base hit. Going the opposite way. Three to nothing's your score here in the bottom of the third inning. That brings up Braxton Gross. Gross, the catcher, with Hunter on first. Hunter will run for himself, no courtesy runners. One ball, no strikes, one out here. Bottom of the third inning. Forsyth's already played at one. There's a stroke right at Keelan. Could be two. Gets it to Mayberry for one. On to first for two. And that's going to do it for Forsyth, but not until they get one run on one hit and strand nobody. We'll be back with the top of the fourth inning with the Panthers coming to hit on the home of Panther Baseball, Big Country 99.
Welcome back to Panther Baseball and home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. We move to the top of the fourth inning, top of the order up. You're going to have Keeling, Mayberry, and Richardson, followed by Hammer and Hoyt Matthews, and then Carson Allen. As Tristan Hunter gets done with his warm-ups. See if Gatlin can't catch up to him. No hits so far for the Forsyth hurdler. Four hits for Forsyth as they've scored three runs on four hits. Hunter comes set, Gatlin. Big day yesterday. He looks at a ball outside. That one, a good fastball hitter. Three to nothing's your score. Top of the fourth here. Hunter, he winds, he deals. That ball's a little inside. Gatlin jumps on top in the count. Two balls, no strikes. He can be patient here. Look for one ball, one place. Hitters count. Hunter toes the rubber. He winds. He deals. It hits him. Skims his shirt. So the Panthers have their first base runner of the day in the likes of Gatlin Keeling. And that brings up Mayberry. Maybe we can get these bats rolling. Brylan playing second base today. Forsyth to beat. Licking last week. Mayberry chases a high, hard one. Swings right through it. You got Richardson on deck with Keeling on first. Nobody out. Time for the Panthers to start going. Hunter comes set. Checks Keeling over at first. Keeling got a big lead. Mayberry hits one out into center field. The center fielder calls for it. He's underneath it, makes the play. And there's one out here in the top of the fourth inning. That's going to bring up Richardson. Hoyt, Hammer and Hoyt comes out on deck. Carson Allen in the hole. Keeling on first. See if Richardson can... Figure this out. Second time he's faced Hunter. Keelan gets a good lead over at first base. Hunter comes set. He winds, he deals. A strike just touches the outside corner. Three nothing your score. Panthers have no runs, no hits, and one error. Forsyth has three runs on four hits and no errors. There's a ball just a little low, and the catcher throws it, but Keeling's underneath it, and he steals a base. And Keeling's in scoring position and takes the force play out. <coughs> Richardson usually does a good job hitting behind him. He goes, gets the rosin bag. One ball, one strike, one out here. Mayberry flied out to center. Richardson and then Hammer and Hoyt. Three to nothing's your score. He winds high and tight, and that moves the count to two balls and one strike. I see the new football coach down there talking to the athletic director, Coach Swafford. Two balls, one strike, one out. Richardson. Digs in. Keeling on second with a stolen base. Richardson steps out and calls time. As Hunter was taking too long. Keeling on second. Richardson at the dish. Two balls, one strikes a count. Tristan Hunter fires. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Evens the count, two balls and two strikes. 
Two balls, two strikes, one out, runner on second. The number three hitter, Caden Richardson. At the dish, Hunter checks Keeling at second. He winds, he fires. Richardson stays alive as he fouls one straight back. Two balls and two strikes still. One out. Richardson calls time, gets settled in. Keeling getting a big lead on second. Second baseman goes back to his position. Shortstop's there covering. There's a pitch, a swing and a miss, and Keeling steals third. And Richardson goes down swinging. And now there's two outs. Hammer and Hoyt Matthews at the dish now. Two outs. A base hit will get him home. Cut into this 3 nothing lead. Hoyt behind the plate today doing the catching. Hunter winds and fires just a touch outside. Good eye by Hoyt. One ball, no strikes. Carson Allen on deck. Two down. Keeling on third. Hammer and Hoyt digs in from the right side. Hunter comes set. He winds, he deals. There's a ball just a touch low, and Hoyt jumps up in the count. Two balls and no strikes. Two outs. He can be pretty selective here. Look for one pitch, one place. Got to load up early on this guy, though. He throws it hard. There's a ball fouled off down the right field line. Goes out of play. Just a long strike. Two balls and one strike. Got to get your time in here. Hammer and Hoyt Matthews, senior. William Penn signing. Hunter, come set. He fires. There's strike two. That evens the count. Two balls and two strikes. Two outs. Hunter gets a sign. 2-2 two, two count. He winds. Way outside. It gets by him. Keeling with a good jump on third base, and he's going to score. And that cuts the lead to 3-1. to one. A run on no base hits. As Keeling got hit by a pitch, stole second, stole third. Scored on a pass ball or a wild pitch. Three to one's your score here. Hoyt with a full count. Three balls, two strikes. Two down. Wind blowing out to left. He hits one a mile high. Right fielder has a beat on it. He makes the catch, and that's going to do it for the Panthers, but not until they get one run on no hits and strand nobody. We move to the bottom of the fourth with the Panthers on the field on the home of Panther baseball, Big Country 99.
Welcome back to Panther Baseball and home of Panther Sports. Big Country 99. We move to the bottom of the fourth inning. Panthers get a run across, cut into that 3 nothing lead, 3-1. to one. And Forsyth. Aiden Clevenger, the first baseman, steps in. Then it's going to be Walls, then Nolan. Hoy winds and deals, just a touch inside. Ball one, one ball, no strikes. Bottom of the fourth. Got to hold him tight here. Hoy wheels, he deals. There's a swing foul ball down the third baseline. Good play by the Forsyth coach. See one hands it over there in the coach's box. Fires it back to Braden. Three to one here. Just started the bottom of the fourth inning. Mountain Grove Panther baseball. Why and deal. There's a ball just stays up, just misses. That was a borderline pitch right there. Two balls and one strike. It's probably a 50-50 ball. He winds, he deals there. He, he pounds it out into left center field. And that's going back, 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 back. It's off the wall. Harker has it. And the runner's going all the way to third base. And that's the first baseman in Clevenger. And they lead off with a triple. <laughs> that brings up the DH, Jared Wall. Not what the Panthers wanted. A leadoff triple as he hit that ball a long way. If you've never been up here, this is a huge ballpark. Hoy looks around. He's down behind the rubber. He's going to pitch out of the windup. Wall steps in. The DH today. He looks at a ball low and outside. One ball, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. There's one check swing right down to the coach. He gets an error on that one as he bobbled it. One ball, one strike. <laughs> Excuse me. Defensively, the Panthers look like this. Richardson on third. Keeling on short. Mayberry on second. Allen on first. There's a swing. Yes, he did. That moves the count to one ball, two strikes. Matthews behind the dish. Hoy on the bump. In left field, you got Harker. Center field. Got Lenton, oh, and he gets him looking. Good pitch by Hoy for a second strikeout. That's now Strahan. Strahan steps to the plate. Had a big hit last, last at bat. One out, though. Big strikeout by Brayton. Runner on third. There's one high and tight. One ball, no strikes. Boy, comes set. He delivers right there, just a touch low, and the count goes two balls and no strikes. Two balls, no strikes, one out here with a runner on third. We're trying to keep him there. Hoy, he winds. That one's right downtown central. Two balls and one strike. One out. Oh, he comes set. It's high and inside, and the count moves to three balls, one strike. Got to be careful on this pitch. They'll be sitting dead red fastball here. He winds. There's a ball fouled off, and that makes the count full. Three balls and two strikes. Panthers trying to get out of this inning without giving up another run. Three to one's your score. Getting down to Mateos. 
Have a calzone. Philly cheesesteak calzone is what Rocky recommends. There's one hit out in the gap in right center. It's going to get down, but Murphy makes a good play on it and cuts it off to save extra bases and gets it in quickly. But an RBI single for Strahan. And another run across for the Forsyth Panthers. Phoenix Malone. Sounds like that'll be a title to the song. Runner on first, one out. Hoy, trying to get out of it. He comes set. There's one hit high pop. Hoyt's calling for it. He makes the grab. They're just like that. One pitch, two outs. It's going to bring up Nick Guy, the right fielder who hits from the left side of the plate. Two down now. Runner on first. Boy, there's a strike. Good pitch right at the knees. Hoy looks in, gets the sign. Matthews, a swing and a miss. Good pitch by Hoy, and he's up in the count. Two, no balls, two strikes with two outs. Four to one's your score. Four runs on six hits for Forsyth. One run on no hits with one error for Mountain Grove. There's one hit right back to him. Fielded. Fires the first. Carson touches the bag, and that's going to do it for Forsyth in their half of the fourth inning. We'll be back with the top of the fifth with the Panthers coming to hit on the home of Panther baseball, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Baseball in the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. We move to the top of the fifth inning. It's going to be Allen, Linton, then Hoy. As the Panthers try to get cut into this 4-1 lead. Forsyth, four runs on six hits, no errors. Panthers, one run on no hits with one error. Carson's due. Big, strong kid going to Bethel to play football. You got Gabe Linton on deck. Gabe's kind of cooled off a little bit. Was hot as a firecracker. Tristan Hunter on the mound for Forsyth. He throws that one right by him. Got a good fastball. Quick arm action. No balls, one strike. There's one just a little inside. Evens the count. Allen, the senior. Hunter winds. He deals. There's one over the inside corner for strike two. One ball and two strikes. Got Linton on deck. Panthers got to get something going with the sticks. 
Hunter's mowing right through them. There's a ball fouled off up here. Heard it hit. One ball, two strikes. There's enough velocity on that ball. If you get a good swing on it, it's going to travel. Guaranteed. Hunter looks in, nods. Yes, here he comes. And there's strike three as he gets Carson looking for strikeout number five. Five strikeouts on the day. Now brings up Gabe with Hoy on deck. One out. Base is empty. Linton trying to cure that problem. He swings right through it for strike one. No balls and one strike. Hunter looks in. Linton digs in at the plate. He swings at a high hard one for strike two and Gabe's down in the count. No balls and two strikes. Those high ones are hard to hit if they're throwing them slow. You might as well not even try them on this guy because they're coming in with a little mustard. As he winds and deals, Gabe fouls that one straight back. We, no balls, two strikes. Linton at the plate, hanging tough. Hunter, he winds, he deals. Oh, and he calls a strike, and Linton can't believe it. Didn't look like it to me, but we're way upstairs. That brings up Hoy with Murphy on deck with two outs. Hunter, that's strikeout number six. On the day, one blemish as he hits Gatlin Keeling. He's faced one over, and there's a hit into right field. Ball oh, goes foul. I thought that was going to flare out right on the line. No balls and one strike, two outs. Didn't have many hits yesterday. Bats have gone cold for a little bit. Hunter winds. There's a strike right down central. Can't take those on this kid. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Hunter. He fires. The ball gets by his catcher. Goes to the backstop. So one ball, two strikes. Ahoy. He looks in. There's one. Almost hits him. Oh, he didn't get out of the way or anything. That, that was close. Two balls and two strikes here. Two outs. Deuces wild. Braden Hoy, the hitter. Hunter mowing us down. There's one inside. Braden's done a good job getting the count full. Three balls and two strikes. Fouled a couple off. Two outs. Panthers got to get a rally. Top of the fifth here. Running out of chances. There's one. Cut back into the net. And Braden stays alive. And the count's full. Three balls, two strikes. He's got a quality at bat. Murphy on deck. Then Harker. Then back to the top. Hunter looks in. He wheels, he deals, and he hits him. And Hoy is the second base runner for the Panthers. And the second hit the Batman, hit Batsman. And that brings up Murphy. Unger's going to run for Hoy. And that brings up Caden Murphy. Caden lined out the. Or hit one off the handle of the second baseman, his last at bat. Two down here, top of the fifth. Panthers down four to one. 
Need to get going. Anything. Take anything, Caden. Unger, good wheels on it first. Murphy digs in from the right side. He looks at a fastball for a strike, paints the outside part of the plate. No balls, one strike, two outs. Unger on at first, courtesy run for Hoy. Hunter looks in, fires. Just a little low. Good eye by Caden. That evens the count. One ball, one strike. Windy afternoon, but a nice day for baseball. Unger gets his lead off of first. Hunter comes set. He's going to go, and he steals. And the ball gets by him, and Unger's going to get all the way to third base. And I don't know what happened there. He didn't want to get a balk, I guess. And he went ahead and threw the pitch, and it was a wild pitch. And Unger's just 90 feet from home plate. Murphy can cut this lead in half. Murphy digs in. There's a ball just to touch outside. That evens the count at two balls, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Harker on deck. Panthers down four to one. Need to get something going. Got a runner on third. There's a ball gets by the catcher, and they're not going to get Trist or Destin. And the Panthers score their second run of the day without a hit. No RBI opportunity for Caden now. As that's the second runner that scored on a wild pitch. And the aggressive base run by Coach Kaufman. Counts full, 3-2. And there's a swing and a miss, and that's going to do it for the Panthers, but not until they get one run on no hits and strand one. We'll be back with more Panther baseball on the home Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Baseball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. We move to the bottom half of the fifth inning. Let's see if Hoy can be on for his fifth inning work and keep Pan the Forsyth Panthers right where we're at. Score now is 4-2 to two as we've scored runs in back-to-back -back innings. And it's a 4-2 ball game. As Hoyt throws it down to second base, we throw it around the infield. We're getting ready to get underway for the bottom of this fifth. And just like that, Forsyth's back to the top of their order. Campbell's been on twice. Hoy, he winds, he deals. There's a ball just a touch high. One ball, no strikes. Nobody out. Four to two's your score. Four runs on six hits, no errors. Two runs on no hits and one error. There's a ground ball down. Foul down the third baseline. Forsyth coach gets makes a good play on that one. Hoy looks in and Hoy, he winds, he deals. That ball's way up in his eyes. 
Way up in his eyes. Two balls, one strike here on the leadoff hitter for the Forsyth Panthers. Hoy winds and deals. I don't know what's going on. He's quieting somebody down over in the crowd, I think. <laughs> Calling balls and strikes. Three balls, one strike here. That ball's, oh, he calls that a strike. That looked high. Whew. Moves the count full. Braden gets a break there. We'll take it. He drills one foul down the third baseline. Three balls, two strikes. Counts full. Hoy trying to hold them where they're at. He winds. He deals. There's a ball high. He loses the leadoff hitter, Campbell. And that's going to bring up Boyer, the third baseman. In the last three innings, they've gotten their leadoff man on board who's led off the inning and usually come around and scored. Gets a big lead off of first as Campbell Hoy comes to that, fires a little bit inside. One ball, no strikes. Hoyt's thrown out the only base runner that's attempted to steal on him. Gunned him out rather easily. Boyer digs in. A hit and run is on as he fouls it back to the screen. Evens the count at one ball, one strike. Nobody out. Bottom of the fifth. Boy. Might need to keep an eye on him over there. He comes set, fires to first. Campbell's back in plenty of time. One ball, one strikes your count. No outs. Boy, comes set. He fires. There's another hit and run. Fouled off to the Panther dugout. <laughs> One ball, two strikes. <laughs> Excuse me. Four to two is your score. Forsyth in the bottom of the fifth. Hoy takes something off of that. Doesn't get the call. Thought he should have. That evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. Hoy comes set. He fires. There's the ball strike. Throw down to second. Campbell steals the base. And Boyer's out. As he K's for Braden's fourth strikeout. That brings up Hunter, Tristan Hunter, who had a big base hit his last at bat. Drove in a run to help himself. <laughs> now there's two outs in the inning. Or no, just one out. Hunter, the number three hitter, and then Braxton Gross, the catcher, hitting cleanup. Pitch and a check swing for a ball. One ball, no strikes. Campbell on at second for the Forsyth Panthers. Hunter with a base hit, base hit his last at bat. And an RBI. Boy. There's a drill right at Keeling, and he's going to throw it to second. And they're going to get a double play their second of the night. And that's baseball as Campbell was off run and had no chance to get back. Great play by Keeling as he climbs the ladder to get that one. And that's going to do it for Forsyth in the bottom half of the fifth inning. With the score here, Forsyth four, Panthers two, and coming to bat on the home of Panther baseball, Big Country 99.
Welcome back to Panther Baseball in the home of Panther Sports. Big Country 99. Harker, then Keeling, then Mayberry. Four to two is your score here. Top of the sixth inning. Panthers are running out of chances. Hunters pitch to Jim. Panthers have been able to haven't been able to solve him yet. No hits. Through five. And pass balls and, and stolen bases is the only reason the Panthers have got any runs so far today because they haven't hit, put, hit the baseball. As Hunter finishes his warm-up tosses, they throw it around. Trey's playing left field today. Good looking freshman as he steps in the box. Keeling on deck. Catcher and catcher and Gro Gross and Hunter talk after they throw the ball around. Top of the sixth inning. Panthers have six outs to solve this puzzle. As Hunter winds and a swing and a miss. On a good fastball. No balls, one strike. He winds, he deals. Harker waves at that one. He was high and outside. No balls, two strikes. Most Panther hitters have been a little bit overmatched today. As Hunter's pitched well, he winds. And there's strike three as Harker looks. And that's one out here in the top of the sixth inning. That brings up Keeling. Keeling hit by a pitch his last time up. Hit by a pitch, steals second, stole third, and came home on a ball that got away from the catcher. One of the two runs. Hunter winds, swing and a miss by Gatlin. No balls, one strike. And that's nine or ten strikeouts for Hunter on the day. Four to two is your score. There's a ball popped straight up. The catcher calls for it. He's right there to make the play, and that's going to be out number two here in the sixth. That's going to bring up Mayberry. With Richardson on deck. Four to two is your score here. Hey, if you're hungry, let's go down to Mateo's. Order you a hand-tossed pizza or some wings. Enjoy a salad bar. Haven't had anything bad there. And there's a ball high in Mayberry's eyes. Four to two is your score here. Panthers on the bottom end of that. Hunter winds. There's one hit out in the outfield. Center fielder making a long run. He covers a lot of ground and makes the catch as Mayberry gave that a ride. And that's going to do it for the Panthers in their top half of the sixth inning. As they go three up, three down, we'll be back with more Panther baseball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99.
Welcome back to Panther Baseball in the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. We move to the bottom half of the sixth inning as the Panthers are on the short end of this one, four to two. As the pitcher for Forsyth has thrown a no-no so far. And Forsyth's been able to wrap six hits and get four runs. That brings up the catcher, Braxton Gross. He calls time as he gets into that box. Hoy, ready to go to work. Throws one low and outside. Braden hadn't thrown bad at all. <laughs> Just giving up four runs. There's a pop fly in the infield. Mayberry's calling for it. He's underneath it. He makes the catch. Two pitches, one down here in the bottom half of the sixth. Panthers got one chance left to tie this thing up. Top of the seventh. You'll have Richardson, Matthews, and Allen coming to the plate. Clevenger hit a triple his last time. He ropes it out there again. It's going to fall in front of Harker for a base hit. Didn't go all the way to the wall this time. He's had a good day at the plate. That brings up Jared Walls. Struck out his last at bat. One out here. Runner on first. Hoy trying to hold, make him stay put. Braden's gone all the way, six innings. There's a pitch right there, good one. That was borderline. Called a ball. One ball, no strikes. No One out here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Boy, it comes in with a good fastball right down Grand Central. That strike one evens the count. One ball, one strike. Beautiful day for baseball. Just a touch of wind. There's another one. Just a little low and outside. Moves the count to two balls and one strike. Hoy. Comes set. Checks the runner at first. Fires. Misses outside. Three balls and one strike. Forsyth up, four to two. Four runs on seven hits. No errors. Panthers have two runs on no hits with one error. Hoy. There's one drilled into the six hole. That's going to be a base hit. That's going to be their eighth hit of the day, and they've got runners on first and second. As Wall comes through, that's going to bring up Nolan, the center field. Excuse me, Strahan. Shortstop coming to the plate. Four to two, your score. Runners on first and second, one out. Hoy's gone the whole distance. He's done a good job. Just haven't been able to solve the puzzle on the other side. There's a pop fly. It goes fouled back here, out of play. No balls, one strike. Hadn't got much run support. We haven't put together back-to-back -back hits. We hadn't put together a hit. The coach comes over and talks. He's going to pinch run for... The designated hitter wall. Somebody's going to come out of his dugout. Got a pitch runner in there. Richardson and Matthews go and talk to Hoy on the mound while they're making them. A running move. No balls, one strike here on the shortstop stray hand. Runners on first and second. There's a pitch for a strike. Good curve ball there by Braden. No.
No balls, one strike, I guess. Boy, fires. There's one hit out into left center field. Long run. Harker's there. He makes the catch. He drops the ball, but not until that was when he was trying to get it in and throw it in. The runners don't advance. Phoenix Malone. That ought to be a song. I'm sold on that. No balls, no strikes. Two down. Runners on first and second. Let's leave them there, Braden. Braden's gone the whole distance for the Panthers. Throws a fastball in the dirt. One ball, no strikes. You got Clevenger on on second. A runner for Walls on first. And there's ball two as it goes outside. Good block by Hoyt. Two balls, no strikes. Hoy with two outs. Needs a good pitch here. He just misses with that one. The count goes three balls, no strikes. And I'd say if he loses him, this will be his last batter. Is that will load up the bases. And that's a strike. Good off-speed pitch there by Braden. Three balls and one strike. He took something off of that. Just came in on the inside corner. There's a high fastball. They don't offer at it. And now bases are loaded. Coach Kaufman's going to come out to the mound as he calls time. As Coach Kaufman walks to the mound, we're going to take time and send it back to the station for a word from our great sponsors that make this all possible. On the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Baseball. As the Panthers make a pitching move, Gatlin Keeling comes on the bump. And he throws a strike for his first pitch. As Nick Guy is up at the plate, the nine hitter, and then back to the top of the lineup for Forsyth, who had bases loaded with two outs. Gatlin coming in to try to stop bleeding, and he hits a runner, and that's going to bring another run home, or he hits the batter right in the batting helmet. That makes the score five to two. And that's going to bring up the leadoff hitter, Mason Campbell. 
Not what Gatlin wanted to do there. He walks to the back of the mound, grabs the rosin bag, regroups a little bit. Harker moves to second. Hoy moves back out to left. There's a swing and a miss by Campbell, or excuse me, fouled back. No balls, one strike, two outs. Base is still loaded, full of Panthers. Not our Panthers. Keeling comes set. Takes something off of that one. Doesn't get the call. Evens the count. One ball, one strike. Gatlin, who came in in relief a little bit yesterday, didn't throw very many pitches. He winds, he deals. There's one stroke softly. It gets over Mayberry's head out into left field. That's going to bring home two more runs. Oh, they get him as he's out. Great throw there by Hoy from left field, and he guns him out at home plate to save a run. And they just get one more, and that makes the score Forsyth 6, Mountain Grove 2, Mountain Grove coming to hit on the home of Panther Baseball, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Baseball in the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Tristan Hunter's going out for the seventh inning. He has been very efficient with his pitch use. The Panthers will bring up Caden Richardson, Hammer and Hoyt, and Carson Allen right in the heart of the order. See if we can't get something done. But Forsyth added two insurance runs. They're in the bottom of the sixth, and the score reads now six to two. Panthers got a big hill to climb. Might have a shot if you can get this guy used up some pitches, but he's going to try to finish it out. Richardson. He looks at a strike. No balls, one strike. Panthers down to their last three outs to try to tie this thing up. Hunter trying to take him home. There's a good shot. Goes right to the Sunday hop to the shortstop. He fires to first, and they get Richardson. That's going to bring up Hammer and Hoyt. With Allen on deck. One down. Tristan Hunter, you better write that name down. Pretty good pitcher. Six to two, your score. Six runs on nine hits. There's a ball that just misses. Good eye by Hoyt. Carson Allen, then Gabe Linton behind him. Hunter winds. Just misses inside. Good eye by Hoyt. Now the count moves. Two balls, no strikes. We need base runners any way we can get them. Here's a pitch. Just a touch low, and Hoyt's worked a three-ball, no-strike count. Hoyt will be taken all the way here. This will be the first walk of the game for Hunter. 
And it gets by him. Four straight balls. That brings up Carson Allen. Gabe Linton on deck. Panthers down to their last two outs. Trying to get something going and tie this thing up. Knock Hunter out of here. We'd like to see their number two. Allen digs in from the right side. Hoyt running for himself. And there's a strike over the outside corner. No balls, one strike, one out. Richardson hit it hard, but right at the shortstop. Hoyt draws a walk. There's strike two as he's dealing now. Pitch right at the knees on Carson. And it came with some heat. No balls, two strikes. Hoyt gets a lead off of first. Hunter comes set, fires. There's a slow tapper. Foul goes off by the first base dugout. Carson stays alive as he spoiled a good pitch there. Panthers come up and play at U.S. Park. Gotta love it. Gotta love baseball. He winds and deals. Carson. And the ball's juggled by the catcher. And Carson is going to be out because Hoyt had first base occupied. And that's the second out. Panthers now down to their last out as Matthews moves to second. Catcher couldn't find the ball. But it didn't matter. First base was occupied. Linton, just like every other Panther today, hasn't had a hit. Whereas Forsyth had nine of them. There's a ball hit out in the center field. The center fielder's coming, and there's the first hit of the game, and Hoyt's going to try to score. And they've got him dead to left, and he's out, and that's going to end it. As Gabe Linton breaks up the no-hitter and Hoyt Matthews gets thrown out at home plate. And that'll do it for us as the final score here is four size six, Mountain Grove two. We'll be back with the Family Pharmacy postgame show on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. 